for that sound. First of all, three, two, one. We're back. Well, I'm back. Y'all were always there. Um, it's been a minute. It's been a long time. Maybe two minutes. And uh, I kind of didn't have a plan or a script of what I wanted to say. I just knew that I was going to get up here and things were going to be said. Just winging it, you know? Improv. Anyways, apologize in advance for this. Sorry, I'm going to have to turn it off. Aww. Yeah. Welcome back, me, myself, to Good Morning Former. It is 4.50 in the afternoon, but it's morning somewhere, so good morning to y'all. Um, like I said, it's been a long time. I haven't really been up to date with these kind of things as i promised i said i was gonna drop once a week <laughs> and dropped only two episodes and then um life happened you know how it goes but um i, I want to make this comeback i want to make this a thing you know i want to have a bunch of segments i want to play off and i have ideas after ideas i have guests i want to have on here but we'll make it happen. We'll make it happen. We'll get another chair right here next to me. We'll get someone else talking. We're going to get this shit popping. We're going to get it live. We're going to get it in action. I guess the main thing I kind of wanted to talk about today was just motivation. Because that's what this brings me to. Because um, sometimes I lack that. I, and I, I've heard recently that you shouldn't be doing things off of motivation or passion. Because those things are only so short term. Compared to doing things with reason. You know? Like, you have a reason why you're waking up in the morning and why you have a reason, for example, me having a reason to do this, to do these podcasts or whatever I want to call it, um, to do audio engineering, make music, work with others. There's got to be a reason behind it. And because of that reason, it should drive you to keep pushing forward no matter what. And you don't really depend on motivation and passion because it's not always going to be there every day. Some days you wake up and you don't feel like doing shit. Let me make some phone calls here. Let's call some people up. And let's see what they have to say. I'm going to call my boy J-Mo. I always like to have uh, boss conversations with him. Shout out 28 J-Mo. He's out in uh, Illinois. And he's doing the same thing, man. Just working. Getting shit together. Let's see how he feels. J-Mo. Que fue caballero, como esta? Haciendo, man. Aquí... Well, I like that. Are you working right now? Working, working, or boss working? Whatever. You working, working, or you just boss working? I'm, you know, I'm doing, I'm doing some boss working right now. I respect. I'm it. just like, uh, I'm training this new guy, but he's gotta go to the bathroom. So, I'm, I'm actually doing a, a Good Morning Former episode right now. Oh yeah. Yeah, That's you're on, awesome. you're live, bro. Oh, for sure, for sure. What up, y'all? Hey, what's up, for I'm J-Mo. I'm at the work right now, have myself a little beer, wait for my <laughs> buddy to get back, and then we're going to get back to it. That's how it goes. That's how it goes. But uh, what I wanted to ask you is, like, what's your reason to get out of bed so early, you know, go work out, you know, stick to your plan, your routine, and to keep pushing every day? Uh, Well, one thing that I always come back to, no matter what, bro, on my worst days, I always think about how how much work my my family has put in to get me in this position right now that I am. Mm. And uh, I feel like it would be a waste for me to not take advantage of it to the fullest and become who I could really be, bro. So there's people out here living every day. Like the average person doesn't see themselves as uh, they could be a millionaire or something like that. Like most people can't. So we got to do the things that other people don't do. Yeah. I do see myself like that, you know, so right. I have to push myself to be above average. I respect that. That's a great Otherwise, answer, bro. That's never gonna happen. We all we're all in this together, you know. I it's see a whole community. Shit. It makes me want to get on my shit, and mm. my people that are seeing me, they want to get on theirs, you know. And oh, they, yeah. They reciprocate it, you know. Absolutely. I got a homie. I got a homie in London. Oh, word. He was, yeah, he was seeing he was seeing me doing my push ups, and shit. I just started sending him videos one day. Yeah. I sent them to Rico and to my other homies, and then one day. He, he didn't really want to do them, bro. But then one day he just started sending them back to me. And then uh, over there, it's like five hours earlier. So when nowadays when I wake up, the first thing I see is a video from him. All right, bro. Thank you for uh, for your answer today. 
Of course, bro. I appreciate it. It's always a good time. And it's always a lesson learned. All right, Joe. All right, bro. I'll talk to you later. Later, bro. Be safe, man. So the f***ing camera turned off. Shout out Jamo, man. Shout out Jamo for doing that for us. Beautiful. Always a wonderful soul. Always great talking to him. Um, Next on the line, who are we going to tell? Let's talk to my boy Severe, bro. He out there at five guys right now flipping the Jurgers. Shout out to Severe One Blunt, man. Embarrassingly enough, I don't have his number saved. Damn. 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 How do I not have his number? Yo, I'm done with this, dude. This is like the third time I came my turns off, so I'm done with this. Um, I'm going to get this fixed, and we're going to get back to more episodes. Thank you, everyone. Make sure to follow the former lounge. Make sure to follow me at DeVille Season, and stay up to date with us at FormerlyKnownRecords.com, and we're going to keep this coming, baby. Appreciate y'all. Love y'all. Have a great rest of your morning. Great rest of your day. Keep it going.